Hello everyone. Um, welcome. Today we're going to make cards. I'm going to um, use this cute little cluster, that embellishment that I made on the last video and turn it into a card. Um, so my card bases, I normally just take an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper and I, um, I don't know if I'll be able to get the bottom of this in frame. Yep, yeah, kind of. And I cut it to five and a half. Um, and that gives me two card bases that I can use. Um, and we're going to do, while I have my trimmer out, we are going to have, make an envelope to go with it. So here's really cute paper. Um, my porch print she has the cutest stuff and this is going to be cut at seven and seven eighths and I'm going to cut two envelopes I don't know if we're going to use them both but we're going to do two of them I hope you guys are all nice and warm where you are um, I don't know maybe you want it colder um, some places are heat wave and some are freezing. It's September and oh my goodness, we have snow where I live. So it is cold, um, which is fine. So we're going to set those aside. And what I normally like to do is fold my card base first. Um, I like doing this because I don't really want to pay for those card bases and envelopes. Um, I have a bunch and I tend to not use them. I tend to always just do my own and it's, I notice it's a little cheaper, especially if you make a lot of cards. Um, so here's the base and I like to work on a separate, which is kind of weird. Um, and I put it right on top, but we're going to um, put some color around the edges of these before I put these on. So we are going to, let's see, use some paper. So I think we're going to use, and I think most of the paper I'll be using today is from my porch print. She just has such good stuff. Um, so sometimes I actually cut what size I want and do a little border and make it really cute. And other times, yeah, I just rip it and go. It just depends on what mood I'm in. So We'll see how this, I might do it the other way for the other card if we have the time to do the two. we're going to have to rip this down a little bit more but it's a little easier once you start tearing down a bigger paper and it's easier to go with the little ones. Just gonna get rid of this little bit. So, with this little up here, what I will probably wind up is adding some other little paper.
Okay, where's my... Not good. Hopefully it's still working. I left it out and undone. And, oh yay. It still has some in there. <laughs> Can't believe I did that. I don't normally do that. I'm trying to think what I was crafting. That I was using this last. <laughs> so, yeah, I know it has been so cold out here. And last night is when it started to snow and I had to take my son to dance and he literally dances from five at night until eight with a 15 minute break um and so I was buried in my car cold because with the um it wasn't too bad I turned on the car once to warm up that was right before he came in for his 15 minute break but because of the um COVID virus we can't he can't take his break in the studio and we have to be there for him to um, take his break which is fine it just um, he makes it where we can't be in the studio where normally we can sit in their waiting area um, while they do their dancing so it's I don't like that I know what I'm going to do. Okay, so we're going to, we are going to use this and get around these edges. So, um, yeah, I, I did a video, <laughs> I downloaded a video, watched a video while he was dancing. That kid loves to dance. Tonight is, um, both kids have danced tonight. He, my son dances about six hours a week this year. So it's my daughter. Normally she doesn't dance nearly as much, but she's taking three classes. So between the two of them, we are at that studio a lot. <laughs> so, which is fine. You do what, what you can because your kids love it. And I think, I think I'm going to tear this little piece because it just looks weird. So I either glue or I use tape. Um, it just depends on what adhesive I have handy. You can do both. Um, and it, for me, it will depend. It really depends on what else I'm doing to this because sometimes I will add paint. I will add fabric. And in fact, we're going to be adding some fabric to this. Um, I think that's what we're going to do right up here. Well, let's see, we're going to put this right here. Actually, we're going to, we're just going to leave that the way it is and add a little bit of my fabric right here. So this is um, fabric tape that I made. Um, if you guys want to see how I make these, let me know in the comments and I will... Um, I'll show you. They're actually really easy. I'm, so I'm just wanting this a little darker because it's awfully bright. So we are just darkening it up right now. And then I'm just going to See, and that's some fabric there. I am a fabric junkie. Used to quilt a lot. And then, um, oh, this isn't wanting to stick on. And then it just got to, um, my body doesn't like it. 
need something that I can work a little bit and then relax in. Man, sewing three layers together, that is a lot of work. And I don't have a long arm, so I don't quilt as much. So I think we're going to put that right there and a little sentiment would be really cute right there. I'm trying to... Okay, let's see what I have. I like that. Today is a great day. Um, I think... I think we're going to put it on a darker piece of paper and cut around it. So, let me hear this. Such little pieces are sometimes really hard to get up. Here's my little scissors. My desk. Sorry about that. My battery died. Um, so hopefully my daughter can mush the videos again. I really need to have her teach me how to do this so I don't have to wait for her. So I probably might not be posting this today. Um, this might be tomorrow's video. I don't know. We'll see. I'm filming this on a um, Wednesday. So you guys might not get this today. Oh, that looks so much better. And let's just darken this whiteness. It's a little too white. Here we go. There. And now we just need to put it on a ba my, our bases. What did I do with those bases? I buried them with paper. Of course I did. Okay, so I'm going to use a different color for this. And I think I might use some green to help. Sorry. I really need to get better at keeping this in frame. Um, I think I'm going to use some green to pull out this green in the branch leave branches um, let's try peeled paint and see how that looks let's see or hopefully this is the right color I want You only see like a sliver of it. Yeah, that will work. You might go over it with some the other stuff. But that's the beauty of this. You can do that. So. It's weird too. It's the first day we haven't had our kids in the house. My husband's working 
upstairs and I don't have any. My daughter went from online school yesterday to being in the school. I think she was having she was having such bad headaches from doing everything. They had their textbooks online and like all of that online and it was just too much for her. She couldn't she um she just couldn't handle it. So now, like, I'm just going to go over this a little bit and get it a little bit more muted so it's not so bright. Just... There we go. So, and then we just need to add this right here, and voila, that's going to turn out really cute. Um, so let's just get this glue down. Um, Let's make our pocket, or um, not pocket, our envelope. So I'm using a envelope punch board, and my his, my daughter loves to go shopping with me, and we found this at um, Tuesday morning. She was so excited and said, "Mom, we have to buy this." So, of course, I said, okay, let's buy it, and I have been using it more than she has. And I can't remember who paid for it, if it was her or me, I have no idea. But it lives in the, my craft room. Her, she has her own stash in her room. Okay, three and three-eighths is what I need this lined up at. Um, she has her own stash in her room, so it's just, it's kind of funny. So I do not press really hard when doing this. This paper is a little thicker than cardstock, but not by much. Um, but I do not press very hard because I have been known to completely press through the pages. And then I have to start it all over. Because that's just... Uh -oh. So, if you haven't ever used one, what it is, is it has all these measurements, and when you get to, like, it'll tell you where to go, and so your first one's going to be a little off, like this one was, and then every other one after that, you line it up with the score mark that you made, and click it. Um, it is so easy, and I know there's so much more stuff you can do with this than just envelopes. So this is um, double-sided paper. Um, and so we are going to... Punch these. That didn't turn out really well, did it? There we go. Sometimes I use this in the back, and sometimes I just don't. Because I am one of those. Yeah, if I'm in the mood to, I will. Um, so, you always want to fold towards the bubble. So this is going to be the inside of our paper, of our envelope. And I like the double, 
when I print it back to back because you get like a really cute inside along with the outside and I don't know, I just think it looks really cute. So and this paper is kind of, this side is kind of dark. Um, and so that looks a little upside down. So what I'd probably wind up doing is switching and making this the top. So that's the right side. That's the beauty of this. You, does, you can fix that. Um, and then I glue it. And sometimes um, you can keep it just like this if you want. I like to fold that little piece in. But I do it after I glue. So I glue this and I glue from right there and glue this part and then glue from this top over. But what I also do is glue this and this part. And and I just glue all of that in. And then with this piece, I once I have that there, I fold it in. And I do glue that little piece down. Oh. Sorry. Okay. So if this is too dark um, for you to write, whatever address you need to on there. A lot of people have return stickers for the front. Um, you can just get a white sheet of paper, write your, you know, cut it down to size, write it, write your name on there and put it on there. Um, or use a darker thing, um, darker pen. Really doesn't matter. And then you just write whatever you want and we're gonna have to glue that down the other way. There we go. And then there you go. You have a card and a really cute envelope to go with it. Um, what I like to do with these is um, normally I have skinnier double-sided tape, but um, to tape these down. I like to use double-sided tape. Um, you can use glue after you write it and set it down, um, but sometimes, like especially like if I'm selling these cards, um, I'll double-side it. That way whoever the buyer buys it can um, just have the double-sided and put it down. Or um, if I like write a note on the inside and put all of this, like write a note on a separate piece of card and put all of this into another card. And then whoever you give this to can actually um, use it. I've done that before too. But who doesn't like happy mail right now and happy cards and stuff? Especially with everything going on. Everyone has such a crazy life right now with things and some people get really lonely in their house and need just a card saying I'm thinking of ya. So I hope you liked this tutorial. Um, I only managed to get one card done but that's okay. If you'd like more card tutorials let me know um, and I will post them. Hope y'all have a great day. Bye.